In this module of Image Trend Training, I will demonstrate the proper documentation of a patient with symptomatic bradycardia. The learning points include documentation of initial findings, recording of an EKG, establishing an IV, giving a fluid bolus, the administration of medications, pacing, and finally the gaining of signatures for wasted controlled substances. All treatments require defensible documentation as well as documented reassessment. So we're going to go en route to our call. I'm going to make up a run number. We're going for chest pain. This address is an address that anybody who works at Station 1 would recognize. I'm going to make up an apartment. There's not seven floors here. And this is a home. This is probably going to be a base contact, so I'm going to check that now. We could change it later if it turns out to be different. Here, I've got to put the zip code in. This is a downtown zip code. So this is all clear. So now we've arrived on scene. And we're at our patient. And it's somebody that we know. Marta Herzenstop. We look down at her history. She has history of cardiac, cholesterol, and hypertension. She's allergic to Haldol, and she said her meds are unchanged. Today, she's complaining of chest pain with some shortness of breath. Now, she says that she's had it off and on for two weeks, but in the past two hours, it's been consistent and bad. So I'm going to put two hours for the duration. So we're going to begin by assessing our patient. We're going to get uh, some vitals. Her GCS is across the top. Be sure that you set the time for everything that you do. Now for the vitals, it's going to be continuation. And her pulse is slow, it's 48 and irregular. Her respirations are 20 and regular. Her blood pressure is a little bit low. She's sitting up. Her sat is a bit low. Now on the monitor we see a sinus brady. And her pain scale is an 8 on 10. Now, it's probably good to use the PQRST tool at least the first time. So, provoked, it's unprovoked. She says it's a tightness. It's a mid chest. Well, I'm going to put right anterior. It does not radiate. Duration is two hours. And okay. So we have the vitals. We know she's complaining of chest pain, so we're going to put her on some oxygen right off the bat. So that's medication. Like I said, don't forget to set the time. Go to O, oxygen by nasal cannula. Uh, response is going to be unchanged. Next, we're going to do a 12 lead, so that's a procedure. Set the time. It's under L for lead, 12 lead. Now, success is yes. Location's irrelevant. I think the only thing that's important here is that we need to put what we found. So it's a sinus 
bradycardia with occasional escape beats. Okay, we decide that we need to give her an IV and a fluid bolus. So we're going to go IV, set the time, it's an, uh, at extremity, 18 gauge, it's in the left AC. Now once we establish it, there's no symptoms, it's easy to flush, and we are successful. The medication is saline, and we're going to give her a bolus. I just canceled that because before we give anybody a bolus, we better check to make sure that their lung sounds are fine. So I'm going to go back to the assessment. We're going to listen to our lung sounds and they've, they're clear. So, clear right, clear left. I'm going to use skins as well. She's a bit clammy and somewhat pale. Okay, knowing that her lung sounds are clear, we're going to go back and do that bolus. Extremity, 18 gauge. Left AC, it's okay, it flushes easily, and we're successful. We give her saline, and now we're going to give her 300 cc's. Seeing that we gave her a bolus, we need to reassess her vitals. So we set the time. Her pulse remains at 48, and it's irregular. Um, her anxiety levels decreased a bit, so she's breathing a little bit better. Her blood pressure is about the same. We've had her lay down. She's no longer sitting. Her sat rate with the oxygen has improved somewhat. And her cardiac rhythm is sinus brady. And her pain is at 8. So seeing that we gave her the bolus and it didn't help, we're going to go ahead and give her some atropine. So we're going to go to the meds. A. Atropine. Now it thinks it wants us to give us a full dose. We don't. We're going to give it a half a dose. Half a milligram. And the response to this is going to be she doesn't change. She doesn't do anything at all. I can't remember if I set the timer, but there's the timer. So seeing that the atropine didn't work, we've decided we're going to pace her. That's a procedure. Set the time. This is under C for cardiac. Cardiac pacing external. Success, yes. Patient's response is going to be improved. And I'm going to put in the comments what we where we got capture. Capture at 72 milliamps, comma, heart rate of 80. That's what we set it at. Okay, seeing that we just did a procedure, we need to get new vitals. Again, don't forget to set the time. Now, seeing that she's being paced, her heart rate is at 80. It's regular. Her respirations are 16. Her blood pressure is improved. It's 92 over 62. 
she supined. Her sats improved slightly as well on low concentration. Her rhythm is now paced. And her pain now is down to a 5. So seeing that her pain is still at a 5, we've decided she's being paced. Let's give her some midazolam. Set the time. Now it knows the dose is 2. Our response is going to be improved because the pain level has decreased. Okay, we've given it a medication, so let's do some new vitals. Set the time. Pulse is 80. Respirations are 16. Blood pressure is improved. Her sats have improved a little bit more too. Cardiac rhythm is paced. And the pain now is a 3. Okay, we've decided that we want to give her some morphine. So we're going to go to meds. Set the time. Go to M. Morphine. Now, doesn't know the dose because we can give a range, but we're going to give 2 milligrams IV. And her response is improved. Now again, we gave a medication, so we should take vitals again. Set the time. Her pulse is at 80. Respirations are 16. Her blood pressure is improved. Her sat is good. She's at paste. And now her pain scale is 1. And we're happy with that. Her blood pressure is good enough that maybe we can give her some more morphine, but she seems pretty comfortable, and we've decided that we're good with that. So we're going to ride into the hospital. So we're going to go leave the scene. We're en route to the hospital. And we're en route. We're just going to start filling in the boxes while the AMR medic is reassessing the patient. So cardiac arrest, the answer is no. And there was no trauma here either. Our primary impression was that of chest pain, so let's set that. And there was no treatment prior. The time, she said two hours prior, so we're going to go with 17.45. Now en route. We're going to contact Loma Linda and set the contact time. And we're going to St. B's. I think that's on the bottom of this one, destination. Come on. St. B's. She's not a member of the program, and this is not a county pocket. What's left? Oh, pregnancy. She's 71 years old, so I think that the answer to that is no. Suddenly we have narrative and uh, hospital signature. So we are arrived at the hospital. We need to get this narrative done and we need to get signatures. So I'm going to get the signatures first. Go to sign. The control substances use. We use two of them. We have, they're already here. Midazolam and morphine. So I'm going to go midazolam first. It says that we used two. It contained ten. So that means we wasted eight. And I'm going to sign. And the nurse is going to sign. 
and then we're going to do the morphine for the same thing. It was 10 to start. We used 2. We wasted 8. I'm going to sign. And the nurse is going to sign. Okay. For the narrative, I paid attention to getting all the times correctly. So if you use a sequential or a soap narrative, it's going to come out nicely. I like using a soap narrative because it asks you questions regarding how you found the patient, which I think is important to include in every, narrati every narrative. So events surrounding the incident. In this case, I'm going to talk about the chest pain. Chest pain over two weeks becoming constant over past two hours. Okay, how would we define the patient? Patient found seated on sofa at home and moderate distress. Additional findings in this case were none. And the response to treatment, patient did not respond to bolus or atropine. Patient responded positively to pacing and pain management. Our medical control was Loma Linda University Medical Center. It already knows that. I don't know why I have to ask that again. And we did this en route. The patient was delivered to the ED. And we gave our report to Nurse Ratchet. Okay, our narrative is done. I'm going to get a signature from the nurse. So now we are done. We're in service. I'm going to save the call and close it. So now we have documented our procedures, why we did them, and then the patient's reactions to the procedures. We've also documented the use of controlled substances, how we wasted them, had the nurse sign them, and then the nurse signed the, for the entire run. So we're done. Thank you very much.